Is building a Kit Fox S to prevent buckling and the rib garage your own air so far? The plane is in their garage. The compact and <laughs> sold as a kit, so you'll have to assemble it. It's for true sky lovers, and the wings are removable. The Mini Max family of aircraft first flew in 1984. Built mostly from wood with plywood joints, it features a fabric covering sealed with varnish. Most models have an open cockpit with a windshield. The wingspan is 8 meters, except for the early versions with 7.6 meter wings. Both the wing and the horizontal stabilizer are supported by struts. The only suspension comes from the air in the service ceiling is 3,700 meters. The aircraft was designed to meet ultralight regulations, and some variants still qualify. Its simple construction makes it possible to build one in a garage, as long as you've got the right. Is building a Kit Fox STI difficult? Professionals would say no, but you'll still need to put in the work. The process is more like a craft, where every step demands precision and patience. The fuselage is assembled with stringers to prevent buckling, and the ribs are trimmed for better aerodynamics. Then come the vertical stabilizer and rudder, which require careful handling. Metal straps, bushings and bearings are fine-tuned in a machine shop and polished with sandpaper to ensure a perfect fit. Levers, the control column and plastic bushings all undergo detailed treatment to eliminate friction and allow smooth movement. After a month in the garage, your own aircraft. The Flybaby is a wooden monoplane with an open cockpit. It was designed by Peter M. Bowers, who worked at Boeing. His first flight was built in 1962, the same year it won a home-built aircraft composition. Builders follow detailed blueprints, typically working in garages with basic tools. More than 500 have been completed so far. The plane is built for a single pilot, this family. This is a dream come true for anyone who ever wanted a personal jet in their garage. The compact and affordable Subsonics JSX-2 opens up a whole new level of fun for pilots. It's powered by a PBS TJ100 turbojet engine with 1,150 newtons of thrust. The plane cruises at up to 386 km per hour. It is sold as a kit and is easier to start than a motorcycle. Just turn the key and off you go. The price is $148,000. If a garage smells like glue and freshly sanded metal, and there are wing panels on the workbench, that's because someone's building an ultralight Airbike 103. The process begins with mounting a Kawasaki 440 engine in the nose, followed by a long series of tests. Balance, forward and backward movement, side control and material calibration all have to be checked. The plane needs just 19 litres. One of the smallest planes in the world is the Rutan Long Easy. It's sold as a kit, so you'll have to assemble it yourself. It features a pusher propeller, a canard layout, and a swept wing with wingtip rudders. The engine produces 115 horsepower, with a top speed of 298 kilometers per hour. It has a range of 3,230 kilometers and a ceiling of 8,200 meters. The maximum takeoff weight is 600 kg. Rocket engines, as well as tandem seats. In 1997, two long easies circled the globe. Reliable, efficient, and surprisingly elegant, this plane is still being built by aviation enthusiasts around the world. A group of enthusiasts built a giant drone capable of lifting a human. The project kicked off in 2019. The early prototype had six propellers, later reduced to four. At first, it only flew mannequins, but eventually they added a proper cockpit, and then a real pilot took the controls. 
in September 20. The SD-1 Mini Sport is one of the lightest and most affordable planes on the market. It's built from wood, composite materials and XPS foam. Empty weight starts at just 115 kilograms. It's designed for pilots up to 185 centimeters tall, though a longer version is also available. Behind the removable seat back, there's a 40-liter luggage compartment. The wingspan is 6 meters, and the fuel single seat E12NK weighs only 98 kilograms. It's so light that it doesn't need to be registered. The plane features folding wings, which can be deployed in under an hour. Its top speed is 85 kilometers per hour, and it only needs 30 to 60 meters to take off. The engine produces 26 horsepower, so pilots over 80 kilograms should probably look elsewhere. A hundred of these planes have been built so far. The most basic version costs just $7,500. An aircraft with the curious name Flying Flea first took off in 1933. Its name comes from the French nickname for the Ford Model T, the Flea. French inventor Henri Minier dreamed of creating a flying version of that iconic car, a simple aircraft for the everyday person. The front and one in the back, and was controlled with just a single stick. The engine produced 17 horsepower. The wingspan measured 6 meters, and the fuselage was 3.5 meters long. It could fly foldable, and others equipped with more powerful engines. To this day, builders around the world continue to make their own flying fleas, light, accessible planes for true sky lovers. The Cruiser is one of the few ultralight planes made entirely of metal. It was designed by Maury Hummel in 1999 and took its first flight in 2000. You don't need a license or medical certificate to fly. It's pretty simple. All parts come pre-cut and pre-drilled, and the wings are removable. It usually has a tricycle landing gear, but a tail wheel can be added too. The cockpit can be opened or enclosed, though with a canopy, the plane starts edging into the realm of a fully-fledged civilian aircraft. The Ultra Cruiser has built a solid reputation thanks to its reliability, ease of construction, and affordability. The Open Sky M02J is hard to call a full fledged aircraft. It's more like a scooter with wings. The creator openly admits he was inspired by lightweight wheeled vehicles. The MO2J is controlled by shifting your body like a mo- This plane, nicknamed Rigi, which means redhead, weighs 115 kilograms. It's a blend of several construction methods. The fuselage is welded from stainless steel tubing, the wings are reinforced with metal on top and fabric underneath, and the landing gear is built in a pyramid configuration using car leaf spring shock absorbers. Control linkages are external for easy inspection. The wings are bolted on and supported by struts. It's powered by around 80 to 85 kilometers per hour. The controls are smooth and the response is gentle. The inventor of the plane is happy with the result, though he admits the plane has a bit of a temper. The ultralight PB was designed by British engineer Ben Ashman. It weighs just 61.4 kilograms without fuel, and even with a full tank, it stays under 70 kilograms. Yet, it can carry a pilot and baggage up to 120 kilograms. This B reaches a top speed of 88 km per hour and runs on a 26 horsepower engine spinning at 8,000 rpm. It's easy to control and responds well. It flies steady, holds course confidently, and reacts precisely to steering input. The build is carefully thought out. After four years of use, the PB has earned a reputation as one of the best in its class, ideal for those who want a light flying. 
This aircraft was introduced in 2006. It takes just six minutes to get it ready for flight, and you can launch right from your backyard. The control panel is simple and user-friendly. It includes a heating system, speed indicator, and heading coordinator. There are switches for the lights and a manual flap control. The tires are borrowed from an off-road vehicle, and the homemade brakes come from a mountain bike. Here's another light sport aircraft for today's list. The pros call them ultralights. This one features blue and yellow wings, an open cockpit with two seats, and a tricycle-style landing gear. What more do you need for a smooth takeoff and landing? The CGS Hawk Arrow 2 is developed by enthusiasts in their garage and The Kit Fox S7 is delivered as a kit. Building it takes about a thousand hours. In the Super Sport version, the wingspan is 9.5 meters, and the cockpit is a meter wide. The wings can be folded in just 15 minutes, making storage easy. The tanks hold up to 102 liters of fuel, and the baggage compartment can carry up to 68 kilograms. Loads of up to 5.7 joules. Light, reliable, and versatile. That's the Kit Fox S7. The lightweight Czech aircraft ZJ Viera was once a popular choice in Eastern Europe. It was designed by Marek Ivanov in the city of Hradec Králové and sold both as a kit and fully assembled. The wingspan doesn't exceed 7.5 meters, and the aircraft weighs just 77 kilograms. It's powered by a two-stroke Hearth F33 engine, producing 26 horsepower, though a 22-horsepower version is awesome. The cockpit is open with a windshield. Production ended in 2016, but aviation enthusiasts still remember the ZJ Viera fondly. The Bushcat aircraft is built on a tubular aluminium frame with joints secured by stainless steel brackets. The skin is made from sailcloth that resists moisture, wind, and aging. The one-piece curved spring landing gear can handle rough landings. Inside the cockpit, there are two seats and a single central control stick positioned just in front of the shared armor. The aircraft's flight and structural performance meet the highest standards. Every detail of the Bushcat has been thoughtfully designed. And here's how AI sees a crocodile-shaped airplane. It's impossible to believe, but a crocodile airplane actually existed. Back in the 1930s, the USSR built a passenger aircraft called the Ant-9, featuring a uniquely painted fuselage. It was often showcased at propaganda events, amusing crowds with its odd ball of But the crocodile was not the only amphibian to take to the skies. A Belgian Air Force F-16 received a striking paint job that transformed it into a viper. The design was deals in sketching out the concept. Have you ever seen a sleeker flying machine? The Cirrus VK-30 made its debut in 1987 as the first project from Cirrus Design. It was sold as a kit for amateur construction. The design of laminar flow across the wings, fuselage, and tail. The prototype was assembled in a barn by the Klappmeyer brothers, using parts salvaged from a crashed Piper Cherokee and de Havilland Heron. It had retractable landing gear and room for five people. The VK-30's first flight was on February 11, 1988. Around 40 kits were delivered before production ended in 19... Russian inventor Vasily Sverbil has already built seven flying machines in his garage. His latest creation is a single-seat helicopter. The cockpit is equipped with a serious look to the skies. You have to admit, this light aircraft looks a lot like a World War II fighter. Its design is about as classic as it gets. B-52 
Built in 2017 in Bulgaria, it's equipped with a 90-horsepower BMW R1100 engine. The plane can reach a top speed of 300 kilometers per hour. The empty weight comes in at 260 kilograms, and it has a range of about 450 kilometers. Fuel consumption is about 12 liters per hour. It's a single-seater designed for daytime flying under visual flight rules. Ready to see the simplest plane out there? Then take a close look. This homemade flying machine nicknamed Zhuzhik 115 is gaining altitude. Its frame is based on a single boom, with the wing mounted at one point and held in place by cables. The whole thing weighs about 110 kilograms. A PMZ250 engine drives a pusher propeller with a 1.3 meter diameter. The main landing gear is pushed back, and there's a large wheel built into the tail to absorb some of the impacts during landing. The aircraft passed all the tests successfully. It's as simple and dependable as an old bicycle. AI has been drawing all kinds of sharks for the last year, but none come close to this flying one. American enthusiasts got their hands on a Curtiss P-40, a World War II-era fighter. Production of the aircraft began in 1939.